people to pay money to rig a poll. The mm. hypocrisy is just pretty apparent. Uh, you've seen the response separately, not under your control, from chairs of important committees in the House accusing the president of potentially getting close to witness intimidation for, take a look, for this. He should give information maybe on his father-in-law because that's the one that people want to look at because where does that money? That's the money in the family. And I guess he didn't want to talk about his father-in-law. He's trying to get his sentence reduced. So it's uh, pretty sad. You know, it's weak. Has that had an impact on Mr. Cohen as we've seen reports about? Very much so. He is very concerned, uh, as is uh, his family that a bully in the bully pulpit named Donald Trump calls out a member of his family, and he's also called out other members of his family, using the White House platform on a national television show. Let me be very clear here. This is a definition of witness tampering and intimidation and could be obstruction of justice. But more than that, if there's one thing at a time of this shutdown and the worst polarization in my lifetime in this country, if there's one thing that can bring Trump voters and anti-Trump voters, Democrats and Republicans together, it is to draw the line that family is out of bounds. I want to hear Republicans say that to President Trump tonight, tomorrow. Family is out of bounds. You've gone too far. And your, your view, and you're I'm saying here tonight, them to do that. you're saying in this interview tonight, Lanny, that as Mr. Cohen's advisor, you view what the president is doing already as illegal tampering? There's no question that his threatening and calling out his father-in-law, who, quote, has all the money, is not only improper and unseemly for a bully using the bully pulpit of the presidency, but the very definition of intimidation and witness tampering, especially a witness about to appear before a congressional committee to tell the truth about what he knows about Donald Trump, by definition, that deserves a criminal investigation. But I can see maybe Trump people would disagree with that, but no Trump voter, no Trump supporter in the United States Congress can disagree with me that Calling out family members, no matter what, is out of bounds. And that's why this is the one purple moment that this country hasn't had since Trump has been president that can bring us together and say to Mr. Trump, Democrats and Republicans, no, you've gone too far. Uh, this comes as a time when the Senate is assessing an incoming potential new attorney general. Uh, do you, from your dealings with Mr. Cohen and others, view the president as trying to make good on this threat? I mean, are, are people watching at home, are they to take uh, away the conclusion that the president would, if he could, try to get the DOJ to what? To retaliate, to investigate uh, Mr. Cohen's family, to keep him from testifying truthfully before the Congress? Um, is, that, is that what's on the table here? Well, I think this is aimed directly at Mr. Cohen to frighten him and his family. And he has certainly engendered understandable fear for their safety, that a president of the United States should mention a man's father-in-law who's about to testify. I just think it is so out of bounds that it doesn't involve politics. It doesn't involve whether you're pro or anti-Trump. There is genuine fear, and it has caused uh, Michael Cohen to consider whether he should go forward or not, and he's not consider, yet made a final decision. Consider, well, I mean, he was announcing that he was going to do it, and, and you and I spoke to that effect. Are you saying tonight the, the testimony may be off? I would just say the exact words, that he's considering whether to go forward in light of the concerns about his family. Uh, my guess is that he won't let a bully silence him, but I can tell you that he is still considering whether to do this or not. Have you spoken to him about it today? Yes, I have. So you're saying that, on the one hand, you view this as criminal, the president uh, taking what you're calling criminal conduct to, to intimidate a witness, to obstruct, but that that may work, quote unquote, that, the, that he may respond by giving into that? I didn't say it would work. I would say right now that Michael concerns for his family's safety are genuine. Mm. And every American can understand when somebody with the power of the presidency uses those powers. This is not the first time he's attacked Michael's family. Uh, that there is a line that everybody in politics, left, right, and center, will draw. That family is out of bounds. And Mr. Trump 
has gone over that line. And again, I'm asking everyone mm-hmm. watching, we have a GoFundMe site, Michael Cohen Truth Fund.com. This is unacceptable left, right, and center. The one thing we can come together on in this very divided country in the middle of a shutdown is to tell Donald Trump, you shall not attack somebody's family to try to intimidate him from Tony, telling the truth. Have you conveyed these concerns to Chairman Cummings or any of the other uh, committee chairs? Yes, I have. Interesting. Uh, The other part of this I want to ask you about is uh, Mr. Cohen's dealings with these federal prosecutors in New York, uh, which if the rest of the country didn't know about, I think they're starting to hear about um, the aggressive reputation of this office. It's the office that has given us uh, ex-prosecutors that we know, like Rudy Giuliani and James Comey and Mary Jo White and Preet Bharara. Uh, You have been walking a line with them. Uh, We had one of their former U.S. attorneys uh, amidst the same group that I just mentioned, uh, David Kelly, who was the SDNY U.S. attorney. And so uh, as I do here, I report things and I, I put different questions to different people. I put to him some of what you and, and Mr. Cohen have suggested uh, about that office and whether it was potentially unduly harsh to Mr. Cohen. And I want to play for you for your response what he said. Take a look. They treat everybody the same. And if you want to come in and cooperate,